but those set up the big gashes down the field later. Dalvin Cook's first toss. Out across the 15 to about the 16-yard line to start with a gain of Cardinals send five. Golson over the middle. Bobbled and knocked down. It'll be third down and nine as we return to score the game-winning touchdown. Third and nine. Here comes a Louisville blitz. Golson, man-to-man -man coverage down the wing looking for Jesus Wilson. Robert Golson back to throw. Escapes the pocket. There's no one there in the middle of the field for Louisville. And he scrambles and picks up nine. He's taken what the defense has given him and trusts the run game and defense. Helps to give it to Dalvin Cook, and he powers his way for a first down with a flat. He'll go play action here and send it to Dalvin Cook in the flat, breaks a tackle, and gets out to about the 35. Dalvin Cook brought down after a gain of maybe a half yard, so it'll third down and short, trying to keep this drive alive. Louisville brings a blitz, and it is beaten by Everett Golson. Golson extends the play and misses his target. More in that ex execution. They run the option now, and Golson gets widened and gets tackled behind the line. Florida State in business. Everett Golson, quick swing pass to Whitfield in the flat, gets a block, dances out of bounds. At about the 36-yard line. Five-man rush. Golson to the goal line. Incomplete. Again, an errant throw through it behind Whitfield. Spot here in a condensed red zone where it's got to be. And you're going to see Burgess out of the corner of your screen that if he throws out another yard. And First and 15 after the penalty. And this will be another false start, I would think. Oh, they let the play go. Everybody stood still. Everett Golson seems surprised. Come out and, and be a little sluggish on your opening possession. That's one thing to me. I just don't buy much into that. Not much there for Dalvin Cook as he picks up two, maybe three yards. Blitz. Now they drop a couple extra players back in coverage and rush four. Golson still caught behind the line. He is still sacked. Dalvin Cook finally turns into the workhorse. Not a lot there as he picks up a yard and a half. And Rock, when you have a run. Then I've got these blitz beaters in this passing game to go to. Here's Cook. About a yard and a half shy of the first down. It will be. Olsen under pressure again. Gets a block. Flips it right to Dalvin Cook. This is where he's so dangerous in the open field. Dalvin Cook down the sideline. And things can be incredibly just nagging throughout the rest of the year. Out pass thrown to Travis Rudolph. He's cut down. To avoid some of that major catastrophic injury, but it's obviously bothering him. Throwing it away in the first half. Yeah, just 10 rushing yards in that first half. Whitfield, a little smoke screen out to the edge, gets out to the 20-yard line. Kind of balance ideal for this team and their front as well. Here's his first touch of the second half. And he picks up four and a first down. Well, he is frankly a little bit thankful that that wasn't even a bigger play. Dalvin Cook turns the corner. Inside the 40. Breaking tackles. There he goes. Dalvin Cook to the pylon. He's into the end zone. And defensively, they hold their own. Play action for Everett Golson to start this drive. Flips a screen against that aggressive rush to Dalvin Cook, who breaks a tackle. This time, though. He's able to be bottled up, but boy, he fought his way for five. <laughs> Travis Rudolph is in motion. Golson looking that way. Starts to look at the rush once again. Tucks it under and whips one up the sideline. That's a blown coverage. Getting loose is Whitfield. Down the sideline. Kermit Whitfield. High steps to the end. Best field position to start a drive today for Florida State. And they run a reverse. Golson tries to get a block, and it doesn't work. Whitfield's got nowhere to go and does well to tippy toe down the sideline and minimize possession lead in your own building against a freshman quarterback. Golson through a triple team to the 30 yard line. And right up the middle. Cook to the 25 with eight. Another injured Cardinal, that's Keith Kelsey. So one of their starters at inside linebacker now down. After on the last possession, Keith Brown, a starter at outside linebacker, ejected for targeting. Let's go back to Adnan. All right, Adnan, thanks very much. We'll see if Kelsey, with the help of the 
training staff can shake off whatever this injury is. Florida State with a two touchdown lead. And he's their captain. He's a voice right in the middle of their defense. We're not calling his name an awful lot. A bunch because Florida State decided to throw it in that first half a lot more than establish the run. But he's the leading tackler. He is the captain. They're working on the neck there. He's just in the middle of that pit. But right now, Mr. Cook is getting busy. I mean, it has become a really physical game and probably no surprise. And I can't reiterate enough how impressive Jimbo is coming out in this third quarter. First quarter on the season, 44 to 6 because of his planning and his scripting. You come out in the third quarter, 41 to 